If you've ever seen a presidential motorcade or a live shot of the White House grounds, then odds are you've seen more than a few men and women in black suits walking around. There's also a good chance you missed a few hidden in the crowds or in the background. These serious looking individuals belong to the US Secret Service. Among many tasks, their best known priority involves protecting the President of the United States. Yet there's a few facts that aren't so widely known, and we have them here for you. Naturally, all these secrets about the Secret Service come at a price, and that price is our quiz, which will be asked during the video. Answer it correctly, and you can be sure no men in black will be visiting your door tonight. Before we start, be sure to have your security clearance and click that red subscribe button. Also, be sure to activate those notifications so you never miss out on our latest and greatest videos. Original Purpose In a bit of an ironic twist, the Secret Service was created on April 14, 1865. It's the very same day President Lincoln decided it was a good time to head over into Ford's theater to take in a show. We all know what happened next. However, even if the ill-fated Lincoln had created the Secret Service days or months earlier, it's highly unlikely it would have changed anything as far as he was concerned. Why? Well, it turns out the agency wasn't created with the protection of the president in mind. You see, in the 1800s, the United States had a serious problem with counterfeiting. It is estimated that at the time Lincoln signed the Secret Service into existence, one third of US money was fake. At the urging of the Treasury Department, the Secret Service of the Department of Treasury was created. For the next 35 years, these agents tracked down counterfeiters and invested financial crimes, all while presidents dropped like flies. Finally, after the assassination of William McKinley in 1901, it was decided that the Secret Service should start looking after the president, beginning with Theodore Roosevelt. By the way, the service is still responsible for investigating financial crimes committed in the United States. Not just the president. Over the years, you've likely come to associate the Secret Service with the President of the United States. After all, in any photos of live coverage of the President, you can almost always pick out a bunch of black-suited, sunglass-wearing agents calmly walking and scanning the nearby area. If the President is in the crowd, there is always a group of serious and intimidating-looking agents standing around. Driving down the road in a parade, expect to see a group of agents right alongside the limo. However, while the president is the priority in any protection, the Secret Service also provides its services to protect others. Of course, the first family is given protection, as are former presidents, unless they decline the service. Presidential candidates are also afforded full Secret Service protection for up to 120 days before any major election. But you likely all knew this. What you may not have known is that the service will also protect the children of former presidents up until the age of 16. Visiting foreign heads of state and their families are placed under the protection of the men in black as well. Finally, anyone the president names in an executive order is eligible for full protection. Mount Weather Once a year, the president goes before the assembled members of Congress, the Supreme Court, and the cabinet to give the State of the Union Address. This is usually a pretty uninteresting speech filled with all the cliché and self-congratulatory remarks you'd expect a politician to come up with. However, put all the pomp and ceremony aside, and there's likely a question some have had about the entire event. What would happen if a terrorist attack somehow occurred right when all those VIPs were collected in one area? The entire U.S. government would be wiped out in an instant. Or would it? The Secret Service has you covered there. You see, one member of the cabinet is always absent from the State of the Union address for just this reason. Hidden away at Mount Weather in Virginia, the Secret Service protects this single individual because there is always the slight chance they could be the last remaining member of the government. Mount Weather itself isn't a secret, but post 9-11, renovations reportedly added new underground facilities. No doubt, in this protective lair, the Secret Service keeps close guard of the single official selected to sit out the grand gathering in Washington, D.C. H Street. If you've ever driven around Washington, D.C., then you know there are a lot of really interesting buildings to take in. You've got everything from the White House and Capitol Building to the Smithsonian and Supreme Court. And don't even get us started on all of the monuments. However, don't forget to see a sign marking the Secret Service Building. 
They don't want to attract attention to themselves. In fact, if you've ever driven through the city on H Street, you probably drove past it without even realizing it. That's because the Secret Service headquarters is a rather plain looking nine story building with no signage around it. In fact, if you really pay attention, you'll notice that unlike its neighbors, this unmarked building is surrounded by concrete barriers meant to stop any vehicles from driving into it. Furthermore, there are no garbage cans outside. It is believed that this is so there are no hiding spots for anyone to place a bomb. So what's inside? We can imagine hundreds of armed agents, a lot of secrets we aren't allowed to know, and a cafeteria accessible only by Secret Service members. Medical readiness. While there are thousands of Secret Service personnel, the most high profile group belong to the Presidential Protection Division, or PPD. This group of agents are not only charged with protecting the life of the president and the first family, but being totally ready for a medical emergency should it arise. Experts have dubbed this 10 minute medicine because the president is always within 10 minutes of hospital or trauma centers, which could treat them in times of emergency. In the event of an assassination attempt, the secret service would be responsible for assessing the president, determining his or her wounds and doing everything possible to help them until they arrived at a medical facility. For this, Agents have bags of the president's blood, which they can administer if a transfusion is needed. At the nearby hospital, there is always an agent who is pre-positioned and knows the emergency room staff. This system was shown to work when agents took charge after the attempted assassination of Ronald Reagan. At the time, Reagan only complained of a slight pain in his ribs. An observant agent noticed blood in the president's mouth and redirected the limousine to the nearest hospital where the president underwent life-saving surgery. All right, time for our Secret Service quiz. Can you tell us how many Secret Service members have lost their lives while protecting the president? Think about it while we show you five more secrets about this organization. Four-legged agents. When you picture a Secret Service agent, what do you imagine? It's likely a man or woman in a black suit, wearing sunglasses and striking a rather serious looking pose. Well, that's correct, but it misses out on a whole group of Secret Service members that often don't get noticed. They are furry, have four legs, can run really fast, and also have incredible senses of smell and hearing. Yes, we're talking about dogs. These agents came about in 1975 when dogs were integrated into the Secret Service. Those animals that get selected undergo 17 weeks of training and lots of additional on-the-job training to ensure that they can meet any challenge. Whether you're walking through the White House or just strolling by on the sidewalks outside, odds are one of these canine agents is monitoring you. That friendly looking pooch being walked outside the White House perimeter is likely sniffing for bombs or even gunpowder residue. Then there are the unseen dogs that can and have tackled and bitten intruders who are foolish enough to try and jump the fence and enter the White House illegally. Always there. If you're the president of the United States, then you can expect the Secret Service to always be right with you, sometimes quite literally. Now we often see the president out in public, so we know agents are never more than a step or two away at any given time. On the lawn of the White House or walking beside the presidential limousine on inauguration day, the Secret Service stays close. But what about when the president is out of the public eye? While you might think they can let their guard down just a little bit in more private environments, the Secret Service agents are 100% on all the time. This means that inside the White House, out visiting friends, or going about daily business we take for granted, the president always has an agent close by. In fact, even using the bathroom means an agent is right there. Doctor-patient confidentiality, please. When the president has a doctor's appointment, there is always an agent right there with them, no matter what the case. If you don't believe us, then just ask the agents who stood by in the room while Ronald Reagan underwent annual rectal exams and colonoscopies. We kid you not. Food experts. The White House has its own large kitchen, complete with several chefs who are trained to meet the personal needs of the president as well as the requirements of something as large as a state dinner. Obviously, any kitchen staff allowed to work in the White House are carefully screened because of both their physical proximity to the first family and their control over the food supply. However, even with all the security checkpoints and pre-screening that occurs, the kitchen and its staff remain under very close watch by the Secret Service. How close? Reportedly, agents are present in the kitchen to keep an eye on food preparation. 
It's not that they don't trust the chefs, but they just can't trust anyone, to be honest. They are there to make sure no one slips poisons or anything dangerous into the first family's meals. But what if the president wants to order a pizza from a local restaurant? That's not a problem. Agents will order the pizza to a completely separate address so no one knows it's for the president. From there, the pie will make its way to the White House. We're just not sure if the president tips the agents that deliver it. Forensic Experts In the era where everything is online, Edward Snowden showed us that the government can actually see a lot more than we know. This includes anyone who doesn't like the president and voices their opinion. Whether chat rooms, forums, or email, the Secret Service tracks any threats or statements which could be suspicious when it comes to the safety of the president. So if you've had a rant online and just happened to mention that you wish the president ill, there's a very good chance the agency has you on record. Oh, and don't think going old school will help you either. A handwritten note filled with threats written to the White House is taken as a very serious threat. Just because it's not electronic doesn't mean the Secret Service won't track you down eventually. You see, in addition to analyzing fingerprints and handwriting, agents will also run the ink through their ink database. We aren't joking. They have access to around 9,500 ink samples and can narrow it down to know what brand of ink you used and the general area where it was purchased. More than meets the eye. Secret Service agents may look like they're wearing standard gear, but there is a lot more than you might know. Sure, they carry handguns and have the ability to pretty much take down any regular troublemaker. For cases that might require more, however, they have it covered. For instance, some members are said to wear special bullet and stab resistant suits and even underwear. In addition to standard sidearms, agents are also known to be packing respirators, night vision goggles, and submachine guns. Allegedly, when the president is outside of the White House, there is always one agent nearby with a special mask. In the event of a suspected chemical or biological incident, this agent is tasked with getting the mask onto the president's head. Although we're not sure what happens to the agent after that. While all the Secret Service are known for wearing sunglasses, it has also been revealed that some of those shades are equipped with cameras which beam the images back to headquarters. There, other agents can examine the footage and likely run it through facial recognition software to identify any potential threats. So, do you know how many Secret Service members have lost their lives protecting the president throughout history? The answer? One. In 1950, two Puerto Rican nationalists tried to storm the house President Harry Truman was staying in while the White House was renovated. Mortally wounded, the agent managed to shoot one attacker and foiled the assassination plot. That's the end of our video for today, folks. As always, if you're interested in seeing more, we definitely have a lot of other videos related to the White House and the President of the United States. We just ask that you first register with Homeland Security. <clears throat> uh, we mean the richest by hitting that red subscribe button and activating those notifications. We hope you have a great day. Bye-bye for now.